It was one of our shipments that got hijacked tonight. Could be a lot of people who are responsible. I'm sure you'll figure out who it is and handle the situation. Unless, of course, I get there first. your shipment is a problem for both of us. Any hostile overtures from any business associates you want to tell me about? Uh, I don't know. I mean, things have been pretty quiet. Look, I know it's a radical concept for you to work with the police on anything, but I, I think we can help each no, other. No, I'm, I'm actually being serious. I mean, if you're talking about any competitors who are, who are testing us or preparing to make a move, I mean, there's always yeah. a possibility. I mean, I... Wait, there's one person who might know something. Who? It's your brother Ethan. Max and Milo saw Ethan on the pier, had a brief exchange with him right about the time the shooter got away. I mean, that could be a coincidence. Maybe not. The Jackal would like to offer his humble assistance in your preparation for Mr. Sir's upcoming trial. I I've obtained all the evidence that the prosecution will use to attempt to prove his guilt, so I figured if we work together, perhaps we could prepare you for any curveballs that might be thrown your way. Okay, that's probably a good idea. It might be smart to be ready for anything. Okay, well, uh, the prosecution will undoubtedly try to poke holes in the official statements given by you and the Valkyrie. And I do feel I should point out that if, if Mr. Sir does decide to make the ultimate sacrifice for Michael and, and claim responsibility for Claudia's murder, then if you lie to support his story, you'll be committing perjury. Can't wait. <laughs> Spinelli, get on your... Okay, you're on your computer. Uh, one of our shipments was hijacked from Pier 52. I need the security footage in that area right now as soon as you can, please. You don't notice anyone hurt? No, everything, everything's okay. Shipment's gone. Whoever did it got away. And I have one possible lead. And I really hope that I'm wrong about it. All signs indicate that it was indeed the mob prints who hijacked the shipment. Yeah. What was Johnny thinking? Well... Between the footage I've now obtained of, of his car leaving the scene and, and the shell casing that Stone Cold found matching the caliber of Johnny's weapon of choice, I mean, it seems pretty apparent he was looking to be caught. Yeah. It was an act of defiance on his part, an opening salvo, as it were. I, I just feel bad for Jason because he actually likes Johnny. He respected him, and I think he's given him quite a few breaks already. Yes, very true. It's not often, perhaps I should say never, that someone can just walk away from the Corinthus organization after silently scheming uh, to end Mr. Sir's reign. Yeah, but Jason kind of felt like you would, Johnny, but you're right. Stone Cold is in a difficult position. I mean, disloyalty cannot be tolerated. But I do feel sympathy for the mob prince. It was not so long ago that he put himself directly in the line of fire to save my life. Yeah, I just don't understand what the sudden turnaround is. Uh, why would... Johnny want to go after Jason and Sonny. Well, I think that Ma Prince has been spiraling out of control since the death of his sister, and it's now pretty clear that he's chosen the most dangerous path of seeking retribution. Yeah, it's sad. And not very smart unless Johnny has a death wish. Well, I, I think his vision is tainted by thoughts of revenge. But I fear that this activity will result in the direst of consequences. Not answering your phone, you weren't at the garage, so I figure I might find you here. Well, Jason, he doesn't work for you anymore, so he doesn't have to tell you where he goes. It's okay. What do you want? You left this when you hijacked our shipment tonight. So 
to you. We can finish this in private. Yeah, don't stop on my account. Say what you need to say. Fine. I know you're doing this because of what happened to your sister. And I understand that. You want to be reckless, that's fine by me. As long as it doesn't interfere with what I have to do, I'm going to leave you alone. You know it does? You know I have a job to do. You know I can't let you undermine me or Sonny. So if I were you, I would just, you know, I would cut my losses. I'd focus on what's good in your life. You stay away from me, I'll stay away from you, Johnny. All right, Jason, you know I respect you. But you got to be loyal to Sonny, huh? The guy's a lying pig. He wrecked my sister's life, and his actions cannot go unanswered. Sonny's got to pay for what he did. I'm sorry to hear that. That was fast. Mm. Well, I have a few advantages that you don't. Spinelli strikes again. Must be nice to not have to wait for a warrant to access private security footage. I talked to Ethan. Mm -hmm. He definitely knows something. He tried to stonewall me, but he obviously knew more than what he was saying. Mm. Is that why we're here? Because if it was my brother that took your shipment, we're going to have a real problem. No, it wasn't Ethan. It was Johnny Zakara. one reason why you'd give up John Zakara so easily. Johnny has his reasons for doing what he's doing. You know, Claudia is his sister. He wants payback. So out of respect to Johnny, I, I think I'm gonna let you guys handle this one. You're hoping that we can bust Johnny before you have to kill him. <laughs>